slip case. This is a very elegant, published at twenty pounds set with facsimile memorabilia, published at twenty five pounds. It's only twelve pounds through bibliophilebooks.com. And I'll show you the book. It's called Britain's Lost Railways, a commemoration of our finest railway architecture. From the beautifully restored St Pancras Station, we recognise the finest in Victorian architecture and pride ourselves on hundreds of buildings and structures that were pulled down and replaced. And John Minnis reveals the extent of this loss from cavernous engine sheds like Old Oat Common to the soaring viaducts of Bilar and Crumlin, the gantries of Liverpool Overhead Railway, in this sweeping pictorial celebration of what we've lost. There are architectural drawings for long demolished stations in the removable facsimile documents section at the back here. So this is the wallet and inside we have, for example, this one is Boughton on the Water. Oh no, this one's Hastings Railway Station. Beautifully made these. Front and back elevations. Here's Boughton on the Water, the new railway station with the entrance and platform. Lovely poster. The gateway, Euston, St Pancras to the north. Lovely Art Deco style. Art. There are tickets in facsimile. A railway timetable from September, August, July, August, September 1910, with express trains from London, Euston to through via Wilsdon Junction and also connections through Hastings, Birmingham and so on. All facts, so many things. Another lovely, lovely poster. Spring. Into holiday happiness at Blackpool. <laughs> lovely is that? And a railway map. British Railways. Look at that in detail. Claude Buckle's beautiful illustration of Euston's Arch is one of those facsimiles. And this compendium here is altogether 192 pages, archive photos on every page, including the first class ladies' waiting room of Victoria with its dainty wicker, wicker furniture and bull pel, pull bell, <laughs> and the Baroque orangery that was Newmarket Station and others lost like Nottingham's Victoria opened in 1900 and Wakefield Westgate with the Italianate style. Really lovely. It's Britain's Lost Railways with removable memorabilia and slipcased. Just £12 through bibliophilebooks.com.